Let's practice classifying some chemical reactions. The way I always do this is I ask myself the same series of questions. So let's look at number one. The first thing I ask myself is, is it a synthesis reaction? And that's where two or more things come together to make one product. Well, we can tell this isn't synthesis because it has, it has two products. And then I ask, is it decomposition? That's where one thing is breaking down. And we can see that this isn't decomposition because it's two things. Next I ask, is it combustion? And a combustion reaction always has a hydrocarbon, which is a compound with carbon and hydrogen, and oxygen, making CO2 and H2O. So they're pretty easy to recognize. And we can tell that this isn't that because it doesn't have any of those things. So we know it's either single or double replacement. If it's single replacement, somebody will be single, not in a compound, on each side. If it's double replacement, all of them will be doubled up or in compounds. We can see there's no element that's single in any of these. So this is a double replacement reaction or double displacement, whichever one you choose to use. Let's look at number two. We're ask ourselves the same questions. Is it synthesis? No, because there's two products. Is it decomposition? No, because there's two reactants. Is it combustion? No, because it doesn't have oxygen or CO2 or water. Is this double or single replacement? We can tell because no element is single that it is double replacement again. Number three, is this synthesis? No, there's two products. Is this decomposition? No, there's two reactants. Is this combustion? We have compound with carbon and hydrogen reacting with oxygen to make CO2 and water. So this is a combustion reaction. And they're all gonna look almost identical to this except for that first compound right here might be slightly different. In fact, we could scan down this list and see which ones are combustion reactions right now. You can see, look for a hydrocarbon here. Oh, here's a hydrocarbon. Here's oxygen, CO2, and H2O. So that one's another combustion. Let's go back and look at number four. Is it synthesis? No, there's two products. Is it decomposition? No, there's two reactants. So we know it's single or double replacement. Because on both sides we have elements that are single, lead on this side and iron over here, we can tell that this is a single replacement reaction. Number five, is this synthesis? No, there's two products. Is it decomposition? Yes, we have one reactant breaking down into two products. So we have decomposition. Number six, is this synthesis? Yes, we have two things coming together to make one. And you probably can see that synthesis and decomposition are the opposites of each other. Number seven, we can see that it's not synthesis and it's not decomposition. We've already verified that it's not combustion. So since no elements are single, it is double replacement. Number eight, it's not synthesis, it's not decomposition, but we have single elements, so it is single replacement. Let's look at number 10. We only have one product, so this is synthesis. Let's look at number 11. It's not synthesis. It's not decomposition. 
we have elements that are single. Now I know that they are diatomic molecules, so there's two oxygens and two chlorines, but they're not with a different type of element. But they're not with a different atom, so they are still considered single. And that makes this one single replacement. Hopefully this will help you with classifying chemical reactions.